Hey, all you Jimi Hendrix fans, I've I've always wondered how he died, and uh, the story didn't make sense. Here's something, a real brief clip from a full movie. It's the 54th minute and 59th second. All right, now it's been said for the last for 30 years that Jimi Hendrix choked on his own vomit. It was said that he died of a heroin over, overdose. Of course, none of that's true. He didn't choke to death on his own vomit. Something had to make him sick, right? So now it's known that he took nine Vesperex tablets. These are sleeping pills uh, the night that he died. Now, it's been said that he died from an overdose of barbiturates. The problem is Jimi Hendrix was a chronic insomniac. He was used to barbiturates, and the Vesperex that he, he took really had very little effect on him. He took two tablets. He didn't feel a thing, couldn't go to sleep. He had taken an amphetamine capsule at a party the night before. So the nine Beth Brex tablets he, he took really had no connection to his ultimate end. But when he was wheeled into the emergency room, his throat was cleared, and the visit, physician wrote that great masses of red wine came gushing out of his stomach and his lungs. Right? So as I reenact the death of Jimi Hendrix, he must have been held down, a gallon of wine poured down his throat until he drowned. There were only 20 milligrams of alcohol in his blood when he was brought to the emergency room, which means there wasn't even enough time for that alcohol to enter his system. So the cause of death was drowning, and it looks to me like it was a forced drowning. That's fine, man. And the part that great chokes me almost, but I can't let the joke come out. The grape chokes me almost, but I can't let the choke come out. That's what he said. And that was from the movie he made in Maui right before he died. And a good friend of his that knows that movie that's in this movie that we're watching now, which is on YouTube with this hook there, and it's called Jimi Hendrix, The Last 24 Hours. It's the 56th minute and 40, 40 the second there. And that's the story. He had a premonition, apparently. He said the, the grape choked him. Sorry, I'm a little choked up myself. I hate to think that somebody murdered Jimmy, and I just learned this. The grape choked him, and he could not let the choke come out. And he had told people before that, during the filming of Rainbow, that he thought he was not going to live much longer. He didn't think he'd make his 28th birthday. So somehow he knew. Anyway, something to ponder, everybody. God bless you, Jimmy. And uh, if somebody killed you, that's just such a, such a tragedy. What an awesome entertainer. Okay, I'm not going to ramble. Bye.